Loading on to the Rift. Game three, the potential final game and the first opportunity Lundqvist Darkside have to claim match point in this League GG 2021 summer split final. Um, the first thing I see here is the Ignite versus TP yes. on the mid lane. Yes, Ignite for Loftition versus the Teleport on Fatty P, but he doesn't have the Spellbook. He has the Electrocute. Yeah, wanting to one-shot as quick as possible, really, I guess. Um, Is it one-shot anything? Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Um, otherwise, everything looks fairly standard to me. Um, no, no exhausts in the bot lane. Ignites only, which could prove interesting. And no level one shenanigans. Which is a shame, because I like watching level one fights. Yeah, I think both teams just wanted to play it safe here. Um, <laughs> especially with the likes of Draven and, and Zoe on one side and then Yasuo on the other side. Looks like we're going to get standard lanes this game as well. Which is actually interesting to me as to why Darkseid wouldn't opt for a similar kind of swap. I think it's because they don't have Scion. Orn functions pretty much the same though. You just need the XP. I think it's easier to, to clear waves and stuff with Scion though. Isn't it? I mean, it's also harder to dive a Scion because of the passive, I guess. But, but Orn definitely no slouch. Invol going to get the priority in this bot lane. Helmet already with those axes are spinning. Um, going to be looking to bury them in the heads of all of the members of Lunkfist Darkside this game. But as this early game gets rolling, which of these teams do you think has the advantage in the early fight, in the early skirmishes, Chris? Hello. Hello. Sorry, my sound cut out for a second. In the early good. fights, um, I think Draven is just one to watch. I think Set's really, really strong as well. Uh, in the oh, middle lane, really the interesting fight here in the mid lane. Sleep coming through from Loftition as the electrocutes popped, but Fatty P. It's kind of an even trade actually, as the paddle star connects on the backside. Loftition just edging out the damage there. Yeah, it's um, it's a case of who kind of wins the start of the fight because obviously Zoe's always going to get some damage in once the Yasuo is running away. So. Yeah, Hellman and Marma being shoved in a little bit, but you would expect that with a Karma and an Ezreal. Karma definitely very good at clearing waves with those Qs in the early phase. But Hellman's able to stack up those Adoration stacks, and that is something I kind of want to keep tabs on as we go through this game. Obviously, every axe he catches is plus one stack. Every minion he kills is plus one stack. And Yonsuni is looking to help him cash in. We see a flash forward in the bot lane from Marma, but no, that And we're watching an Orn fight. Yeah, and we're watching an Orn fight instead. Now we're watching a Zoe, and there's been no action anywhere, really, anything meaningful. Um, yes, League of Legends. I think the interesting thing is here with the, the Draven. Oh, are we going to get something? Oh, Yonsen, he might be in trouble. He does have Zoe roaming down, and it's going to be a 4v3, actually, in this bot side. PP. With a Teleport coming through from Valio as well. Johnson flashing away on low health. It's first blood picked up for Loftition. Furby trying to dash away desperately, but Hellman cashes in. The Draven finds the first kill of the game for himself, and that's going to be a decently sized adoration stack cash in for him. Valio not able to get involved in the fight, but did teleport from base rather than from his lane. Picking up the early cull into the Orn matchup. I really, really do like that decision. Going to be able to grab double scuttle on the side of Invol, going to give over massive tempo advantage to Yonsuni, but Hellman and Loftition both already with kills. Very nice start to the game for Invol. And we're getting something here. Uh, I'll talk about yeah, Loftition or Fatty game. Peak here. This is a very nice trade for the Zoe. The one thing I like about that fight so far, and that first fight, is we're finally getting what Invol need, right? We're getting the kills onto the right people. We've got the kill on the Zoe, we've got the kill on the Draven, especially the kill on the Draven, obviously, with the Adoration stacks. And that's something that Invol haven't really managed to do in the last two games. They're not managing to get these kills onto the people that actually need them. We Let's saw the kills. At... Let's have a look at Hellman's items. He has a long sword from, his, from the start, but what is he going to be able to buy? Instant Serrated Dirk. Plus a Doran's Blade. That Draven is going to hurt for the rest of this game. 
Yeah, and it's a case of can they keep the momentum going? Well, from a from an involved perspective, you certainly hope so. Um, and if you want this series to go the distance, you would also probably hope so. Elman coming in, meaning some business, as does Loftish and Falio. Kind of brutalizing Chaos Senpai in this top lane again, but this is what we've come to Chaos expect. Chaos Senpai wins this one. N well, not with not when Set has Conqueror, no. <laughs> Just jumping forward like he wants to uh, to match up to the big oh, boys. Look at look at the damage coming through from oh, Falio. Okay. I'm just gonna connect. Not quite trapping oh. Falio on the turret. Oh, the he haymaker! Didn't flash for it. He didn't flash for it. He could have killed him. I don't know. He hit the true damage, didn't he? I thought he hit the true damage. Loftition winning out on this mid lane matchup as well. Fatty P up on CS, but seeming to struggle in the trades. I feel I feel like um, the set could have flashed and then got the, the double auto off to kill Orn. We're getting the Orn ult here. Flash Ooh, from Falio. Flashed away from Falio. So it's good that he saved that flash. Definitely, definitely. Or the hook just going wide from Marmor. If you hit that, if he hits that there, you have to feel like Don Ponk was in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and it's good to see Marmor on one of these champions that can actually try and, and do the thing to Don Ponk that Don Ponk was doing to him last in the last two yeah. games. Yeah, exactly. catching catching them out. Oh, we could see a three v three here though. Both junglers in oh, the, the bottom. Teleport coming through as well from the Orn, and Helmet is stunned up. Helmet is flashing away. Furby's going down to the Draven. Another cash in for Helmet, and now it's three v three in this bot lane. But Invo are running. Loftition's coming down, but so is Fatty P. Johnson is going to fall to Frilla. And Invo have to fight their way out. The last breath is going to find Lofty. Nautilus. Lofty picks up Ezreal. Hellman picks up Karma. And it's not actually too terrible there for Invo. Yeah, three for two. Forces out the teleport. Meanwhile, Falio is split pushing. Draven got double cash in on the Adoration. So much gold for Hellman. Now has a Noon Quiver to go alongside his Serrated Dirk. We promised Chaos when seven minutes into the game, we've already had eight kills. Yeah, we said it. This game definitely delivering on everything we thought it would. That like getting the plates top. Oh, the f oh the flash forward from Loftition. It's a stolen flash, not his flash. The Sleepy Trouble Bubble connects. Loftition picks up Fatty P. And that's three kills on the Zoe now as well. Three kills on the Zoe. Three kills on the Draven. Invo are unleashed. Invo are unshackled, and they are meaning business in this game three. I think you might need to keep that broom out, Chris, for a while, because this sweep could take a while. Yeah, could be sat here for another few hours. And Hel I wonder how much gold already Hellman has on this Draven. Just from the Adoration stacks, like the, the three kills plus the Adoration stacks, going to be giving that Draven so much extra money in his pockets. Yeah, I think he's um, he's got a, a very, very rich account man. right now. A very, very rich man. Loftition catches the Trouble Bubble onto Chaos Senpai, and Falio now looking. Wind becomes lightning, and Chaos Senpai is going to become a corpse. Oh, the showstopper uh -huh. carries him through, and the kill's given over to Loftition again. It's it just like you've been saying, Chris. All of the kills are going to the right people. Yeah, this is what Invul need. 4 and 0 oh for Loftition. 3 and 1 for Hellman. 0, 1, and 7 for Yonsuni. Yeah, and even though we've got that situation in the middle lane, we're still getting a situation where we have a, a CS deficit, deficit for Lost Edition in the middle lane. But he's been the first to move. He was the first to move towards that bot lane fight. He's been moving everywhere. And he's been everywhere his team need him to be. Definitely. And Darkseid doing exactly what they should be doing and picking up something on the opposite side of the map while the Inval get, well, in get the Herald. Um, picking up that first Drake, which is going to be a mountain. Yes, a little bit of extra resistance, never bad. The Whirling Death. Not sure what's been... Oh, he steals the Gromp with the Whirling Death, I think. I think that was a steal. I think I saw the particle effect. <laughs> wow. That is... A bit of a tilter if you're Furby, surely. It's also Herald worth, be... I guess. Oh, yeah, it steals the camp away. A little bit of extra XP. Never gonna go amiss. Herald is spawned in the top side. Falio's dominance of that lane just being insured. Nine as minutes now, and nine minutes first turret kind of tells you the whole story of this top lane in, in this game three. Definitely. And I mean, Falio's obviously got zero kills, but he's, he's doing what he needs to do. And we saw Darkseid shut down the Invol top laner in game two. And Falio never really got rolling in game one. 
But now we might be able to see what Falio is capable of. Is Loftition trading back onto Fatty? The last breath comes through. But Furby's appearance going to be enough to dissuade Loftition from going further. Now Yonsuni, though, forces the Heartbreaker out from Furby defensively to get him over the wall. Flash not going to follow as the dark side bot lane roam up. But I have to ask... Oh! Oh, that bubble was close. Um, but I have to ask, where's this invul been from game one? I think it's just they've picked up kills onto their main members that they need to pick up kills for, and that's all they needed to do. Horn Horn is going to connect. Is Falio about to get clapped? Does have that set regen. So as he runs away, he is going to get a lot of that health back and might be able to turn back onto Chaos Senpai here. The Haymaker, but no. Chaos Senpai going to find the oh. kill. Don Ponk going down, though, to Yonsuni as Helmand falls to the tower. Shut down, but the shutdown going over to the Karma, not the end of the world. Maybe that was a tactical death from Helman there, knowing that the, the gold will go over to the Karma, especially when he's got the shutdown. Maybe that's why he killed himself in the tower? Awesome. Might be smart. It stops um, stops the Yasuo, Viego, or Ezreal getting it, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, call, we'll, call, we'll say that that's why. We'll give him, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, there, of course. Give him the benefit of the doubt. But, and as you like to say, we enter a bit of a lull state. Um, where do we think this game is going to go over the, next, over the next five to ten minutes? I think we're going to get two fights at Drake. And after that, I think we'll have a clear winner of who this game will be. Um, we've seen basically fighting all the time. And I don't think it's going to stop around these objectives, especially with... The kills on the Imbul side and, and Dark side having this kind of, as their top player has said in the interview, they have like a small ego, which they know they can win these fights and they know they can outplay. Um, so they're not going to be scared, even though they are behind a bit at the start of this game. They're not going to be scared to just fight because they know they can win. Valio now potentially looking for Chaos Senpai, but that Orn is starting to get pretty tanky. Orn definitely going to start to become a bit of an issue. But I think with the damage on this invul comp, they will have no problems breaking through those defenses. Thriller and Domponk playing quite defensively in this bot lane. Understandably so, I would have to say, with the Nautilus of Marma running at them. Yeah, and obviously Hellman. Quite a bit of gold at this point. Obviously, Ezreal's just finished the um, Divine Sundra, so there is that. No boots yet, though. No, not yet. Fatty P taking another big chunk from Loftition. Luden's Echo really gonna... Valio's behind the tower. Fatty P <laughs> he dodges. flashes to dodge the tornado, and I think this might be Fatty P's demise. No, Furby's in the area. And the last breath's gonna come through. Ke uh, the Heartbreaker comes through, and now the Showstopper on to Valio. And Valio falls, actually, to Furby. It's gonna be bad. Furby transforms oh. into Set, and Loftition just walks away. I like what Invol were trying to do there, though. It's unfortunate that Furby was in the area to turn that player. Oh, the gets caught by the hook. Whirling Death returning back now to the bot lane. Oh. Can Hellman finish off the kills? Marma is taken out, and Hellman is not quite able to deal enough damage to get any of the finishing blows. Invol making some small mistakes again, like we saw in the game one and game two, just vital skill shots just missing, and that's what we saw in a few of them engages there. Position could be in trouble. Furby's looking for the fight. Sleepy Trouble Bubble connects. Loftition does have his real flash, but it's not going to... Oh, it is! It's just getting... Oh! And now Falio's teleported into three people. Can he Falio could be dead here. Yeah. Finds the face breaker. Finds okay. Fatty P. Doesn't have the showstopper to take anyone back under the turret with him. It is just going to get out and make it a one for one. But I believe that was a big shutdown picked up by someone into yeah, Loftition. Just... I'm not sure who picked up the kill. I'm just watching the replay back on stream now. And it was picked up by Furby. So big shutdown onto the Viego. Yeah, it's just messy fights again. Um, it's chaos. Yeah, it is chaos. Um, but secure. second dragon going over to Invol. By the looks of things, Yonsuni going to secure it. Not really going to be any contest. And... Yeah, well, just have a look at the gold difference quickly. Um, obviously... We see, a, a, for the first time, I think, in this series, we've got a gold advantage in the mid lane for the um, for Lofty. Um, but only we have an advantage again for Hellman, looking very, very nice. A deficit in the, in the jungle, and 
And a nice big advantage in the top lane as well for Falio. So we've got some decent gold leads across the board for Invul besides the um, the jungle. Obviously with Diego having them two kills and having a small CS if advantage. Falio wants to take this fight, although Yonsni is on the way up. The showstopper is going to come through for the slow onto the Orn. And Chaos Senpai throwing down the Orn horn. The Forge God is called and Falio is just going to get clapped. Um, can Chaos Senpai win the one versus two here onto Yonsni? Diego's coming up. going to become lightning and yeah, Furby's here. The Crescent Guard comes through, but it's not enough. Chaos Senpai flashing away, barely making it out on a sliver, and Darkseid take the fight two for zero. And again, these, these just mechanical massive, mistakes. Massive play for Darkseid there. It's just... just Darkseid players are just playing more skilled. Like they're just playing better, and that's what's costing him all the series. This ser well, the game in the series. And Hellman not able to quite find Chaos Senpai with the Whirling Death. So not able to f go fishing and not landing any kind of catch with the ultimate there. Oh, Loptician now being chased down by Fatty P. Sleepy Trouble Bubble hasn't come through yet. Loptician could look to win this. That's a big amount of damage onto the Asuo already. Battlestar goes wide. Again. The jumps over the wall. Oh, if that, oh, if that, if that bubble had connected, that would yeah. have been so insane. But, Again, skill shots missing. Yeah, Fatty P. Finding the outplay in the 1v1. Like, Invul are just being pulled into this, like, skill testing and, and like, stat checking that Darkseid are trying to pull off, and it's working because Darkseid are just winning it every single time. Yeah, I mean, when you have someone like Fatty P in your mid lane, I'm sure that, that, that just skill checking and stat checking the enemy team becomes a very, very viable strategy. But we are, well, we see the bot lane out of tower full. Yonsuni, it might be in trouble here. Going to get stunned up by Furby. The Crescent Guard going to come through, and it's going to be a one for one, actually. Loftition picks up Furby and picks up a shutdown. So you'd have to argue in that fight, it does favor Invol just purely based off the gold values. But Darkseid get, oh, not quite get mid lane tower. I was going to say Darkseid get mid lane tower as well, but the mid lane tower never fell. So it's all, well, not all good, but better. Yeah, we'll see what happens around this next strike. Obviously, one minute fifty away. Um, there's some big shutdowns on the um, dark side side. We have a shutdown on Orn, a Gold, Ezreal, and Karma as well. So there's some big um, money to be picked up by Umbral here, if they can find the kills, and if those kills go onto the right people. But yeah, Gold lead now slightly out in Dark Side's favor. Although, as you mentioned, those shutdowns could close that gap completely. Should yeah. they be secured? Nimble just need to, I don't know, just hit, hit abilities. <laughs> just hit your skill shots forehead, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, it definitely would be of benefit to the Invul roster if they can find some more of their skill shots landing on the correct targets. Um... This next fight around Dragon could decide quite a lot. Dragon spawning in about a minute. Yeah, it's another Ocean Song as well, so obviously an important one. Yeah, replicating game number one with the Drakes. Um, in, I, interested to see what Loftition can do with this Zoe around the objectives. If he, could, if he can get a lot of poke off before a fight starts, it could be a massive benefit to Invul. Yeah, obviously. Oh, we've got maybe caught here. No, it doesn't look like it. Marma takes a massive chunk of damage from an Ezreal Q to the face. Sleep lands onto Furby. Loftician not able to tag him with a Paddle Star and Invul. Running forward now. Catch Whoa. the hook on the Dompong. Johnson going in a moment and he is just blown up from the map. Teleporting from the Orn, but he is in one versus five. The showstopper gonna carry him back into the team of the oh, Warning Death. Massive. Doing just that. It's huge for Invol. Draven finds one now onto Fatty P as well, and it's three for zero. And two and two of those shutdowns that you mentioned earlier have now been claimed. Just Frilla and Furby left alive. Can they steal the dragon away? Marma takes a chunk. 
but with the Nautilus Shield, it's not going to do all that much. Invo grab the dragon, Invo grab the fight, and Invo take this game back by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed, really. Um... And they hit their skill shots. Are you proud? Yeah, I am proud. I am proud. Do you, do you feel like a proud dad about now? <laughs> I do. I do. Um, yeah, they hit their skill shots. Did they get mid lane? They get the mid lane outer as well, which is pretty big. Um, now that Baron is on the map, having that mid lane outer turret is going to be a lot for map pressure. And getting the bot lane outer tower as well. Furby taken very low by Loftician there. Yeah, more of this, more of this. Oh my oh, god, a damage. A big chunk onto Frilla. But this is what this Zoe can start doing from Loftition now. If he's given the space. And oh my god, Don Ponk. Yeah, Loftition really has the tools to start taking over this game now. Essence Reaver com completed for Draven as well. So those crits are really going to start hurting. Who are you looking at on the side of on the side of dark side to make the play to like deny invo from what they want to do here chris i mean it's it's still gonna be fatty p right like he's just he's a player that can just turn around the game in one team fight um so he's a, he's the guy that invo should be looking at to just stop stop that's it just stop him yeah stop just, him doing just, anything just, just stop him and oh. speaking of Fatty P, he is the one that is caught by the Nautilus Soul. Oh, it's massive. He is knocked up, and I don't know what is going, but Helmut finds the first kill with the Whirling Death, and it is not looking great for Darkseid. Jonsson, he's tanking up so much damage. Don Ponk going to find him with the Karma, and now Furby is able to get the Transform up, but not able to find anyone else. It is, I believe, a two for one? Three for one? Two for one? For Invo, but Chaos Senpai going to go down. Not before Helmut, though, making it a two for two. We'll and have Invo, bit, have Invo bitten off a bit more than they can chew here. Maybe. Falio taken very, very low. Ezreal is whistling through Mystic Lofty. shots. Lofty can't quite find the skill shot. And now Arcane shift forward from Frilla. Flash away Loftition on a sliver of HP. And it's two for two overall in the fight. Uh, mid lane and jungle for AD carry and jungle. It looked good for Invo, but just went downhill. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of an overchase, maybe, or an o just an overextension. Oh, well, Loftition tries to find a snipe from the side. Not able to find anyone through the minions, though. Oh, Don Ponk in trouble. Falio having teleported now behind, catching the members of Darkseid on the retreat. But now there's a TP as well. In. Fatty P is joining the fray. The drowsy bubble going to instantly connect. The wind will blocks off the paddle start, here. Fatty P getting jumped on, and is he going to be able to fall? Not Falio, oh, damage, oh, he oh does! God. Double kill for Loftition straight away with one paddle star. Third picked up by Falio. Helmut is alive. Helmut is now chasing on as well, but this could just be barren for Invo. Yeah, the chaos is just going in the way of Invo this, this, in these last few team fights, and they're really just... They've got nine kills on the Zoe. It's, it's just looking really good for them right now. Loftition is doing so much damage, and we saw the paddle star there picking up a double kill on its own. Um, this game doesn't seem to want to let up in terms of action. And there's not even an action in the game. Yeah, I mean, Invo just in a really good position here. Um, Frilla, nearly, Frilla nearly found the true shot barrage. <laughs> Imagine. That would have been pretty damn bad. If, for, well, for Invo at least. If the true shot barrage had actually snuck away the Baron there. But, oh, let's take a moment. Let's take a breath. Helmut's going to grab himself a red buff. Helmut's going to grab himself a big raptor. There is a dragon in 50 seconds, Chris. I think we both know what that means. We're getting another fight. That's what it means. Exactly that. And with how the fights have gone so far in this game, I'm not even going to try and predict who's going to win it. Yeah, it's probably better for your sanity, to be fair. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and predict who's going to win it. I don't want anyone to try and predict who's going to win it, because who knows? When Darkseid have been ahead, Invol have been winning fights, and vice versa. Anything can and most likely will happen in the remaining minutes of this game. We see Fatty P on the side lane, on the split push, being answered by Falio. Invol with four people in the mid lane. It looks like they're going to take Yakuza's advice in the chat and just not fight it. They're just going to try and push the side lanes and try and get some. Fatty P is getting 
beaten up by Falio. The set really able to just oh. murder through the showstopper. The haymaker. Can Falio find that killing blow? It doesn't look like it as the final tornado is going to disengage the fight. It looks like they're going to fight this dragon, maybe. They're clearing vision. He won't be in the area. No teleport and no HP. So we'll have to recall before moving in to the bot side jungle and isn't going to go. Invol secure Drake number three. Invol move to soul point. Something we haven't yet been able to say in this series. Invol with a commanding advantage in this game. Just say that again for me. Invol with a commanding advantage in this game. One more time. <laughs> You're making up for the previous two games or what? One more time for the boys in the back. Invol with a commanding advantage in this game. Okay. We're just getting it in now because I don't know if we're going to get it again. So. Yeah, exactly. We might as well. We might as well have our fun now, hey? Of course. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, my god. god. If, if Hellman had a collector, they might have killed Frilla there. <laughs> yeah, guess, oh, they're going in again. And Chaos Senpai is taking the brunt of it, but that one is really starting to get tanky. He does not take too much damage. Oh, they're going in. It's a turret picked up in the top side, and it is five versus three in the mid lane. Marma is the, taking the brunt of the fight, and a nice dodge from Hellman keeps him away from the knockup. But the Yasuo is going to find him. Yonsni joining the fight late, but it is not looking good for Invo at the start of this fight. One for two so far, but Yonsni, he survives for so long. Loftition! Nearly finds someone with the burst, but not quite got enough on the Zoe. He's now knocked up and shut down. Picked up by Frilla. Falio now just trying to give Darkseid the runaround. Waste a few seconds. Furby jumps over the wall. And he shows the showstopper. He might find Don Ponk here. He's oh going to be able God. to destroy Don Ponk with the Haymaker. Can Falio get anything else? I don't expect he will. But he does find one and he wastes three people's time. Yeah, and it looks like it's a good thing that I got you to say that three times because now Invul have kind of got rid of that commanding lead. So, so yeah. Yeah, Frilla are going to be able to pick up this mid inner tower. Not going to be able to have any response from Invul. Marma and Hellman sprinting out of base as fast as they possibly can, but not able to make up and off ground. Yeah, Invul just kind of faltering a bit on that last fight. Um, something they need to kind of stop doing, or they're going to end up throwing oh, the game. Death. I don't think he stole anything there. Definitely didn't get any kills with it. But yeah, I mean, my word, this game has been pretty insane, I think it's fair to say so far. Yeah. I might need to lie down after this one. <laughs> I'm glad, well, Invul obviously have, they're on they have, um, three Drakes as well, so they're not in a situation for the first time, I believe, where they have to, they're either forced to fight for the final Drake or they just give away Soul. And in, in this case, it's if Darkseid choose to not fight, which is an, is an option. They could just secure themselves the Ocean Soul, which on a Draven, on a Zinzal, on a set, could be pretty huge. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely what they need. Obviously, with like you say, Ocean Soul is definitely a big thing on set, um, especially, and will help everyone else as well. Obviously, with these Viego and Yasuo engages, they're very, very dangerous at times. Yeah, very much, very much so. But we see Dark Side here brute forcing their way into the bot side jungle, taking control of the vision. And, yeah, just asserting their dominance on this area of the map. Looking as long for as bot lane, it's happening, there. then it's okay. Looking for the bot lane in a tower, looks like they are just going to grab it with no resistance. Invo not wanting to lose the game over one turret. Sensible decision, I would probably have to say. They're just going to clear all the, all the um, neutral monsters out here and just take a bit of gold off of the Invo side, but they could call it, catch someone here. Chaos Senpai, it is the Orn, it is the tank. If you want anyone to get caught, it's going to be him. He survives for a long old while, and it's Falio oh. now taking all of the damage from Invo. The Haymaker going to come through, but the oh, oh, the knockup is massive for the Yasuo, but it only onto the tanks. Furby finds Marma as the first yeah, kill. Right, the Omen yeah, is still reset. alive, but no, not for much longer. Fatty P taking out the Draven. Falio finding Ezreal, and now it's Yonsuni versus two. Can he find Fatty P? No, Fatty P with a double kill. Loftition and Falio, the only two members of Invo left alive trying desperately to get themselves away. The flash used from the Zoe W. Paddle Star going to come through and Loftition trying to turn it onto Chaos Senpai. Doesn't quite have enough though. And Fatty, and Fatty P and Furby in the Invo base 
One inhibitor tower fall. Time is quite long here. Inhibitor tower gonna fall as well. Falio is back, so it should only be the inhibitor here. Don Pong sticking a... around. Loftician has already backed though, so it shouldn't be under any threat. Just an insane in, 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 Yasuo up there to knock up two or three members, I believe, and and Viego got the reset, and it was just all downhill there for Invul. Yeah, and I'm seeing it in chat. Hellman needs a little bit of peel. He kited out that fight pretty well in the 1v2, but needs a little bit of support if he's going to be having any chance. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. I thought he stole that for a second. <laughs> that is kind of insane. Um, but yeah, a little bit more appeal for the Invol backline, maybe. And these fights look a little bit different. And I'm going to give you the chance now to say to, to ask this question once. Are we going to get a Draven Baron steal in this game? No. No? Okay. No. I'm feeling like we are. I don't know. Because Yasuo just makes it so difficult. Good point, actually. Good point. I want to see it, because, you know, I want the series to go more than three games, but... The question is, Invul will be, have to be in a situation where they aren't doing the Baron for that time, yes, and we get engaged exactly. with the Oh, but it's Chaos Senpai, who is showstopper the back Watch Hellman. Big disengage. Hellman is just free-firing onto this backline, and it's going to be one kill onto That's the Orn, picked up very, very easily. Fatty P's trying to do what he can, but he's knocked down into the Guardian Angel, and he's got five members standing around him. I don't expect him to get himself out of this one. He certainly doesn't either, as Hellman shuts down. That's big goal on Hellman. And that is potentially a Baron here for Invo. No true shot barrage to look for the steal either. Loftician is on 250 HP. Yeah, they have big poke, though. They have the edge of Karma. They... Oh, they my God. God. What, what, what did you say about them having a Karma? I don't see a Karma. Where did the <laughs> Karma go? That was, um, I that don't was see a Karma anywhere. damage. That was a little bit ridiculous coming out of Loftition there. Um, but Baron secured up by Invol. The gold lead starting to extend again. Yeah, and some shutdowns onto Draven means he gets even further ahead in that in that um, fight. And yeah, just everyone's got the right kills on the um, side of Invol. So. Yeah, it's looking very, very much sketchy on both sides. There's been some fights executed very well. There's been some fights executed very poorly. And I have no idea how this game is going to end off. Honestly, it can go any way right now. We have 249 until the next Drake, which is obviously, if anyone will pick it up, it will be sold for them. Very important dragon for them. Yeah, securing the Ocean Soul potentially could be the straw that breaks the camel's back for either of these teams here, honestly. They do have Baron that they have to use before that time as well, so it's a case you of... Yeah, use the Baron as much as you can until it gets to the Drake, and then hopefully the advantages you've got from that you can use to secure the Drake as cleanly as possible. You do have to think, though, as this game goes on, as, the, as more of the ornaments come through, how much gold are Darkseid getting from that Orn, just from that raw passive with the upgrades? Quite a bit. Um, more than Imbal would like to think about. Yeah, we'll see if um, we'll see if it pays off. Well, Lofty has some big damage. Oh, 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 oh my oh god! Oh my god, Don Ponk. That is yeah. Where where is Hellman's collector? Is all I have to say. Yeah, he's probably regretting not having that now, but but it is going to be mid lane inhib cracked by Invo. So both teams now missing their mid lane inhibitors. Yeah, it's a big advantage for Invul there, obviously, there. They're in a good position where at least they can have the mid lane push. Well, no, they can't. Against them anyway. no, yeah, no, they can't. Them. <laughs> Although the Invul inhibitor will respawn before the dark side one, so... Will that respawn before the Drake comes up? I don't think so. Maybe just? But, I don't know. I would like to see Falio try and... Pressure up onto this top lane. I think that's what he's gonna do. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, he does finish the recall. Never mind. I was gonna say maybe he doesn't fully channel that back. Oh, he's teleporting behind. He's teleporting behind dark side. We could see a massive flank here from Falio. He's coming in from the side, but who can he get onto? They've managed to find Helmet, I think. But Falio diving into Peel and Helmet is kiting away. Helmet is kiting and kiting and kiting. Furby finds one. 
Viego gets his resets, and I think this could be bad for him. We'll stopwatch on from Hellman, though, and the flash away is going to be huge. He's keeping his overlap, but no Chaos Senpai finds him, and it's just Falio and Loftition left. Can they clutch out the team fight? Loftition finds one. Falio going to fall, and it's Loftition left in a one versus three. Is he able to defend enough? Don't think so. I think it might be over, you know. I think Loftition might be... Ooh, the flash away from the Heartbreaker, though. Keeps Furby at a distance, and Don Ponk needs to be careful. Don Ponk needs to be careful. One stray Paddle Star, and he could be falling. I don't quite know how long the death times are. I think Marma's about to respawn. It's a sleep on to Furby, and it's Loftician versus the world. Can Invo defend this, or is this just going to be Darkseid taking the and series 3 0? Thriller game. hitting the Nexus, and Lunkfist, Darkseid take the series. Three games to zero, and are your LCSE Summer 2021 champions. Yeah, congratulations to Darkseid, obviously, picking up that um, third game. It was a back yeah. and forth game, honestly, and um, definitely managed to pick it up. The series. Definitely, definitely. Um, um, props to them, I guess, for picking that up. Um, yeah, very well played. Yeah. Very well executed from Lundqvist Darkseid and their, all of the guys on their team and their coaches. Really solid game plans coming into the series, you have to say. Yeah, they just played better on the day, honestly. They they perform better individually and as a team, and they seem to have involved every single turn. So, so yeah. Yeah, we will be seeing Lundqvist Darkside advance directly into the Telia Esports Series Sweden uh, Summer Promotion Tournament. So, going to be keeping your eyes on that one, ladies and gents. As for Invo... They're going to be dropping into the closed qualifier to fight for their right to advance into that promotion tournament, where hopefully we'll see them again, potentially facing off against Darkseid for a spot in Tess. Do we know when that is? Uh, I don't know, actually. I haven't looked. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I don't know if we even have dates for it yet. I can't remember. Uh, I, haven't heard, I haven't heard an announcement about it anyway. But yeah. congratulations to Olympus Darkside for taking the series. Yeah. Thank you for um thank you for joining me on this cast. Yeah. Yeah, uh, are we gonna do a winners in are we doing a winners interview tonight? I'm not sure. I don't mind if you don't. I'm happy to do an interview. Um, yeah. yeah. We can get someone. Yeah, it sounds like we're gonna have Don Ponk coming to join us. We'll just wait for Mr. Don Punk to get here then. Yeah, we're just waiting for Mr. Don Punk to get here. And then we will be getting things underway. But how do you rate these two teams' chances of promoting up to tests? I mean, Tessa's looked. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because Nalana Media are kind of playing. They're currently playing in Telly Masters final right now. Um, oh, the uh, Telly Masters final will, like, will be over by now, won't it? It's currently two two. I thought it was only best of three for the final. Best of five. Best of. Five. Oh, I said best of three on the Nalana Media stream. That's best of five. But um, yeah, so I think that the 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 lower side of the test table is pretty weak, um, and I think that some of these teams could potentially promote out of there. Um, Obviously, these games are very big fiestas, so it's a case of yeah. who wins the fiesta, really, um, to see who comes out on top. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I we mean, we are going to be getting Don Punk in here. Though. I'm going to be adding him to the call now, so we'll be able to get a quick winners interview before we end off the stream for this evening. Um, but it's going to be Don Punk joining us. Good evening, What's Mr. Up? Punk. What's up? Um, congratulations on the series victory, my guy. Congratulations, uh, Leagues GG 2021 Summer Champions. How does it feel? Hey, it feels amazing, amazing. Really, really. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to start off right off with a uh, uh, shout out to my brother, Fatty P, carrying hard. Yep. Definitely, definitely showed up in a really big way for you guys this playoff series, this, this playoffs in, in general. Yeah, well, uh, 
the chat said the invul three one against us, but mm -hmm. we showed them, and uh, that's that. Yeah, I, I mean, can't guys, just. What you guys, it? you guys definitely proved chat wrong. Um, very convincing, very very convincing series. Uh, in terms of how the games played out themselves, I want to ask specifically around game two. Uh, obviously, you guys made the lane swap in yeah. uh, the level one. What was the theory behind that? Uh, messing with their heads. That's the number one uh, reason. And it okay. worked. So a little, bit, a little bit of mental warfare as yeah. well as warfare on the rift. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, I can't only give uh, a shout out to Fatty P. Like, everybody played well. Frilla, uh, Furby, and Chaos. Mm. The number one toxic in our team but it's fine and uh, it felt it felt like uh, bot diff every game honestly not to be toxic but it felt like that that's fair enough and obviously one thing we spoke to about chaos when we had him in the semi-final interview is first off he said that if you win the first game you're going to win them all and you did that congratulations yeah. Yeah. and also he said that um that, that you just had you said you just had a better bot lane really um which you said yourself you had botted this game or this series, should I say so? You've kind of done everything you said you would do in the semi final. So, how does that feel, kind of? Uh, like what, I said, what... it, felt, it felt amazing. And uh, we, uh, we, uh, <clears throat> we, we practiced on our um, comps and everything because we lacked in comps mm -hmm. uh, in the regular split. And we turned it around and uh, we almost had uh, place one in the split, but. Yeah. It was head to head against Invul, so sadly. Mm -hmm. But we showed them, and uh, yeah. Do you think yeah, I mean, that, do you think that the experience you've had climbing through the playoffs rather than just going straight to the final has been an advantage for you coming into this final? I wouldn't say advantage, but it was good practice. It felt like the teams in the split wasn't nearly good enough. Uh, I would like to say we're almost above test teams. <laughs> kick but uh, yeah i would said uh, yeah the split the regular split wasn't like uh, training for us mm. it was uh, roughly uh, easy for us i have to i have to ask your opinion um obviously we, obviously we will see both invo and veneer both teams that you guys have taken down yeah moving into the closed qualifier to join you guys in the promotion tournament yeah. Out of those two teams, who do you think has the higher chance of joining you in the promotion tournament? Uh, not to sound toxic, but uh, we really don't care because we would do the same thing we did today and last week against them e either way. But hopefully we will uh, face Invul again. Okay. I, li I like, I like, I like the confidence. I like it. Well, um, that's the thing, the difference between us and Invul. It was the confidence and it really yeah. showed in bot lane. You said, you said, um, well, Chaos said, sorry, that everyone on your team just has a big ego. And um, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what would make you win the series. And yep. granted, well, that, there you go. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely showed us a difference today. Um, I don't think I have any more questions, Chris, unless you've got anything else you want to query. Uh, no, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm about done. Um, well, then, before, before we let you go, Don Punk, yeah. If is there anything you want to say to any of the players in LCSE, any of the teams, or anyone? In well, I, if I would give MVP to someone in Invul, I would say Hellman. He okay. always puts up a good fight, I would say. But uh, they played good. Eventually, we played better. That and that's that. Yeah, I think that's a fair way of summing it up. Um, thank you very much for joining us for yeah. the interview, my dude. Congratulations again on the win. Yeah, thanks again. Um, very very solid performance from yourself and everyone on the dark side team joining you. Yeah, uh, and yeah, that is probably going to be the end. Well, not probably. That is going to be the end of the stream for us tonight. Um, Chris, you got anything you want to say to the people before we end off? Uh, no. Besides, uh, go and check out Lanamania stream. They're currently playing the Telia Masters final. Um, they're currently two and two in the Ricky. Obviously, they're rep in Sweden. Um to try and fight for the NLC spot, obviously two divisions above where we are now. So yeah, go and go and support them. They need the support, obviously. And yeah, they're representing Sweden and that's what we are all to do, here to do at the end of the day. We're exactly. all here to, to promote Sweden and promote the Swedish players and promote the Swedish teams. So whoever wins, whoever does better, whoever ints, it doesn't really matter because 
we're all here and yeah, yeah. we're all here for the the, the same reason oh yeah, yeah we're, all, we're, all, we're, all, we're all here for the good of the reason good of the reason good of the region that's the one let's go support swedish boys over lana mania uh hopefully they can pull through and take the game five but guys that is going to conclude our League's GG summer coverage. We will be back, hopefully, to cover the close qualifier and the promotion tournament for the Invo Games. Um, thank you all so much for joining us on this journey. Uh, for this summer split, it has been one hell of a ride, and I've enjoyed being able to take you all through it. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, we will keep you updated on the Twitter, at Invo Esports, once we know what's happening with the close qualifiers. So, yeah, we will see you all, hopefully, very soon. But thank you all so much for watching from myself and Chris and Judgy, who unfortunately couldn't be with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Go watch Lanamania. <laughs>